Another beautiful day in South Carolina, and it wasn't that hard getting a load today, but it is going to be hard backing this thing into there. Is she okay? Perfect? He says back. Oh, back. Is mama okay? Are we good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we always check mama again. Okay. So he wants to check mama because he's concerned that she went to the doctors. Is she all better? I said my mama is going to check him now. Okay, she's all good. No more naughty, naughty mama? Oh. <laughs> What's that mean? Monkey. Monkey, okay. Are you a monkey? Well, a little frosted mini wheats and uh, look for some loads, but it's looking worse than yesterday. You got one? There, I'll help you. There you go. See? Yeah. Hey, uh, mm -mm. Make sure checking on mom. If you guys don't know, mom had a little checkup yesterday, so he was worried about her. She's getting a little pain in her kidneys, so we'll see if she's going to be. She should be fine. Go for it, Tiki. You got it. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. All right. Let's look up Truck Smarter, see what's out there. So Truck Smarter, guys, is the app I use lately. It's got an invite code in the description right below. Check that out and let them know that you kind of found them through Just Trucking. If you haven't heard about them already, lots of TQL on the board today. A little bit of Duncan at Winter Haven. That's a little bit, that'd be 2,500 bucks for us to go to Winter Haven. Just by Orlando. Nebraska, North Carolina, a lot of TQL. Uh, TQL for me is just kind of my last go-to if there's just really not that many loads uh it's just hard dealing with them a little bit but they're they got some good loads sometimes but sometimes it's a hassle california anderson tennessee a lot of stuff out of anderson a lot of california right there a lot of stuff needs to go to carson not for me though i'm not a california guy i was born or not born there raised there but not not going back there but just this app's cool because it gives you all the different um click and go apps they call them like the places you can just use the app and see all the loads so brings together Cowdy, tql transfix ch robinson jb hunt uber freight convoy all of them and actually last night i saw a load from convoy that was uh, right where i was dropping off those pallets it was picking up there and going to augusta but they kind of check out early convoy never stays up late so that's the app though switching out the water in the hot tub drained it yesterday but just Filling it up about halfway and draining it again. Just get it nice and clean. Be careful, baby. Say hi, Lucy. All right, back down. Who do you got? Oh, Tiki on the bike. Oh, you want to hold me? Okay, come on. Is that better? There you go. Come on. No, no, don't go up there. We're draining it out again. Show me your moves with Tiki. <laughs> and we found a load. This is JB Hunt's process. Um, offered 12.5 on it. They just accepted it. They didn't counter or nothing. So it just goes in there. You assign yourself as a driver, hit uh, agree to tender, and a signing driver. And that's it. You're ready to go. It's just getting better at backing, guys. Cash just had a doctor appointment. How old is he? <laughs> Cash. How was the doctor, dude? Good. Cool, cool, man. I guess you're growing pretty big. You do what? To eat every day. That's why you eat every day? All right, we're going to get your brothers in here. So T Dubs is fine. Yes, I still have to be checked. Go figure, the one that got out of the car. Huh. Case, case. I could still have gallstones, but no kidney stones, no infection, so. There you go, good we'll, job. We'll get checked and then. And where are we at? We are in the 99th percentile oh for height. She said he is as tall as a seven and a half year old. Uh, you need to go to the bathroom? Run, run, run. Good job, your doctor appointment, dude. I guess you're gonna be taller is, than me. She said he is an awesome picture Good, yes, Casey. We'll put a seatbelt on. Oh, okay, well we gotta lock him in. Let's go lock him in. I like your shoes. Yeah, it's, you're getting big. You're fitting in these ones now. Man, are they fast? Woo. Show me. Let's go. How fast were they? Show mama. Come on. Ready? Go. Go. Okay, so he's all good from the doctor. That's amazing and awesome. And uh, we're going to start this thing up and get over to uh, the big truck.
Ride with me? <laughs> but first we go to Waffle House. Watch out, push out for cars, stay up here. Because uh, I don't got to pick up till two and I'm only 45 minutes away from the pickup. Yeah, buddy, Waffle House for the waffles. And I think Cash going back to school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. And I got the, uh, whatever this is, bowl. Yummy. Steak bowl. Be good for mamas, okay? All right, let's go pick up this load. Love you, mamas. Love you, boys. So doing our pre-trip, um, we're a little bit low on oil, so we're gonna throw a little bit more of the shell in there. Uh, and these tr these trucks, guys, if you get here in trucking world and you start uh, running your own truck, you don't know much about the motors, they're gonna burn oil. No matter if they're brand new, no matter if they're a million miles on them, two million miles on them, they burn oil. If you just don't get an oil change and think it's good, check it, check your pre-trip all the time. Pull this dipstick a lot, check all your hoses, make sure nothing's leaking, cracked, bench or broken, all that kind of stuff. Check your fuel, make sure it's still nice and clean. There's no pink in there. It might lead to thinking that you got some injector cut problems. But yeah, we're gonna fill it up on oil, check our coolant, top that off too, which was, it's fine. But if your motor starts to drop a liner, you'll start to see coolant consumption. Your coolant light might come on every now and then, so you know when you're getting closer to an in frame. So that's it. Let's, uh, we got a lot of leaking right here between our, that's our power steering pump and that's our air compressor that uh, gives the air to our system. So I'm gonna maybe get that gasket replaced next time we go over to Hey Guy. But yeah, everything's looking good. Let's add some oil and fire her up. Okay, back to full. That's where we want to be. Let's button her up. So today we're picking up in Westminster. It's just across the 85 from um, Anderson. So about a 40 minute drive. We'll be over there. Picking up some plastic pell uh, pellets, like raw plastic. And we're delivering to uh, Rainbird to make like a sprinkler system and stuff, I believe. So that's a new one for me. Not quite all the way to Birmingham, Alabama, just just, past, just before it to the east and a little bit north. So never been here before, so it'll be a new one for me. But right now we're gonna go pick it up. Two o'clock appointment and it is almost one o'clock. So we should be there right on time. And I was surprised to see the email from JB Hunt. I just, they were offering it at a thousand. I say for what 220 miles, I'll do that for 12, uh, 1250, and they just accepted it within 10 minutes. I said, okay, I guess I got a load, and then waited for cash to get home from his doctor's appointment. And I'm so proud of him for being—he doesn't really eat that much different foods, but he eats, and he just started eating a lot recently. So he's on a little growth spurt. They said he's uh, the size of a seven and a half year old. I said, cool, he just turned six. Um, that's good. I guess he's going to be tall like me. And then T Dubs, it's a blessing that she's okay. She was reading through her uh, like blood work report, her urine report yesterday on her own, trying to be her own doctor and looking up on Google, scaring the heck out of herself. And the doctor said, no, you're fine. <laughs> so, all right. so it just shows you how much if you try and self-diagnose uh, yourself, how much you can kind of hurt, kind of elaborate too much on something that could be wrong. So let's get on 85. I haven't been through Atlanta since the beginning of the year. So, yeah, since the whole uh, COVID team thing out there in Cancun kind of threw me for a loop. And, Shut me, shut me back a little bit. So now we're getting back at it. Get some more loads on the on the truck, and I need an oil change soon, about two or three thousand miles. So I'm gonna go to Hey Guy, and uh, probably do the visor while we're there. Just get it done with them. And it's a two-person job for sure. To hold it and mark it and get those uh, rib nuts in there, nice and firm. So I put some silicone on so they're not leaking. There we go. 85 time. Hartwell, right here. I can't imagine how cold that water is. And right up to the right is Clemson University. Yeah, about 10 miles. And a little bit past Clemson is uh, Lake Kiwi, where we like to go. But it is 53 degrees down here. And we're making good time. We're going to take a right here. Westminster's right there. You could exit here, or you could go um, up Highway 11. I think if we do Highway 11, it's about two miles or two minutes slower, but it's a straight shot. It's not a bunch of turns like the Westminster exit is, but there's the Lake Hartwell. If you ever cross over that, it's kind of where we live. I live about 40 minutes from that lake. Here we go, let's keep rolling. So we're taking exit one. That's still hard. 
Hartwell over there on the right. It kind of spreads out towards Georgia. Actually borders Georgia and uh, South Carolina. So we'll exit here, take Highway 11 up uh, about 10 miles. That name right there, Wahala, and take out that L before the W-A-H. And uh, that's a street I lived on in Arizona for about what, six years, seven years. Six years. Man, that's beautiful down here. South Carolina, Georgia border. Really nice place to live. Uh, Georgia Bulldogs are right south of us in Athens, and then Clemson Tigers are right north of us in Clemson. Georgia and South Carolina. I didn't know nothing about that until I moved out here. Got a little yield here. We got anybody coming? I can see my little mare. We do not. All right, let's go. Fair play, South Carolina. This place is quite a tight squeeze. There's a little road that goes before the actual loading dock area, but man, there's like four trucks already in there. So I saw this guy back here and I said, I'm gonna go back here where he is and uh, walk up there and check in. Cause that's probably what he's doing. I'm gonna actually talk to him. See if that's what he's waiting to go load up there too. Yeah, he's way back here too, so. We'll get next to him, but not too close, so he can still get out. Talk to him. Take a walk on the wild side. Are you waiting to load up down there? Oh, you're finished loading? Okay, thanks, man. Looks like we got all kinds of different plastics. Those are like 50 gallons that are, are bailed up, but tight here, guys. <laughs> Big Gab, that guy's as big as me, so he got in there, I can get in there, but I don't want to be blocking everybody. So I gotta see who I'm talking to. How'd you do this, man? Because I got to do the same thing. Yeah. Once you leave, I'm where you're at. Did you come off the road? Mm -hmm. So you I, can... I blindsided my right. Okay, so you blindsided. Okay, yeah. that's the only way you're gonna get it done, huh? That's what they said, but I don't want to. Bu that road's too traffic. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was looking at. All right, cool. Well, if you blindsided, I can do it too. All right. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, man. <laughs> that is a nice Daytona. I love the color. So yeah, he blindsided in here because this is a busy, busy road coming down the hill, no way you're gonna do that. And I have to come in off of this road. So I'm gonna come in, whoop around. But they are busy. They said like normally you can turn around the back, but it got too much product back there, so. Wow. We will wait and see when he leaves and get some plastic on there. But they knew who I was, they knew where I'm going, so that's a good thing. So they were saying typically you come back here and you can turn around, but <laughs> I mean, all that stuff's just hanging out on the road. You have to run that over, which is just plastic, would hurt nothing. But well, you can see how many people have, you slide down in there and your front tire gets too far, you might not be getting out. Yikes. I mean, look at that. <laughs> look at my stuff is right there. They have, so I guess this is just all recycled plastic. ATI, but it says, for, I forgot what their jacket said. I think it said Prevost or something. I need to really get this all bought and concreted. Man, they got a lot of stuff back here. Those old trash cans right there. Bunch of old tubing, a bunch of plastic bags and stuff. But yeah, you could probably get back here and turn around, but 
not very easily. All right, looks like it's a blind side today with a W9. That's gonna be good times. At least I got that side window to kind of see a little bit. Yeah, even that's kind of tight turnaround, but you could definitely use it. Okay, we're parked way back there. Let's get back to the truck. the bumper I guess I guess you gotta do what you gotta do but whoo that was fun oh yeah and we're still probably off on that side just a little bit but we'll see if it's okay <laughs> that looks like fine right there <laughs> hey, oh. it's all good so we're like don't worry so we're not going to get into a lot of that Okay, the mine's getting bad with plastic. Right now. Okay. I got it boxed. Boxed? All that stuff? No. No. I got, yeah, I got nothing to I'm not going to drive to Atlanta at night and I'm going to wait for later. Okay. No worries. Okay. And I'm going to thank you. Everybody else has got the exact number of things I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't worry about it. Has everyone else had a hard time getting in here? Yeah. Everybody. But this is the problem right here. If yeah. this would have been over more, three feet, you'd be fine. But being that close? That's the problem. Everybody has trouble. That's why, sadly, we always know when they don't care, okay, we got about 15, 20, 30 minutes. We go just because it takes so long. It takes so long to get into it. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so she said everybody has a good 15, 20 minutes just getting in the door. That's about what it took me. Genius to put the sign right here also, so I couldn't use that. So, <laughs> so I tried to make it work and, and get it shimmy shimmied over, but I was still two feet off. And I couldn't see, uh, and then, then they have a pallet right here that you can see people have ran over. So if you're too far on this side, yikes, yikes. She said, I'm trying not to talk bad about the company, but so what I ended up doing was coming out here, getting my trailer further over, using a little bit of the road and then backing in that way. And that's the only way I was getting that thing in there. So we're in though, and that's a pretty car. If you guys watch the live feed today, uh, a lot of people were saying, that's a cool Daytona behind you. And he just talked my ear off about it. He's done a lot of work to it. It's actually a 5.7, which is crazy. But he's dropping a uh, big block in there. So once it goes out, pretty cool. And we got the lights wired up. Now we're just waiting to get loaded. Pretty cool place.
like it's uh, getting all the metal and stuff out or anything that's like debris that's not plastic and then it, uh, I guess it melted down into different types. Recycling right here in South Carolina. So I just went in the office because it's been about an hour and a half since she said it was going to be about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, they're like, hey, they're getting the product ready in the bags. I'm like, well, she said it was ready. So the good thing, the original appointment was 11 o'clock and I told them I couldn't be here until about two because I was home for my son's birth or doctor appointment. And um, so it's a good thing because it's almost five o'clock now. It's like 4.35 and we don't even have the product ready. So whatever, let's get in here and uh, edit this video. Well, that's a wrap guys. Uh, it took about four hours, so. I think they were making the product as they were loading it so we have plastic going to rainbird to probably make some um sprinklers or something who knows but here's a little shot of the front of that bumper at night god bless you and uh we'll see you in the next one from alabama